Well, the holidays are over, and I'm happy to be with you. Uh, I don't know about e- any of you, but for me, uh, the first uh, two to three months of any year are just um, burning off the fumes of having dealt with my family over the holidays, and that's kind of what I'm going through right now. Um, I'm going to – this is a little bit of a different show today. I don't have a guest. Um, I just wanted to speak with you. Um and also, I want to make an announcement. I'll be taking a short hiatus uh, from this show for a while. We won't be putting up any any new episodes after this one for, for a little while. Um, due to the fact that uh, I am just incredibly overwhelmed. You know, I, I went from doing pretty much nothing except trying to find friends to then having this podcast. And it's, it's frankly, it's too much for me. So, uh I'm looking into some uh, some medically induced comas and uh, uh, or a meditation retreat to try to get myself back to a, an equilibrium that's that's uh, healthy. Because although I love doing this podcast and I'm having a wonderful time, um, I'm I'm a, I'm a I'm a shell of my former self, and that is saying quite a bit because there was not much there to begin with. But enough about that. Let's talk a little bit more about me. Friends, I'm just like you. I put my orthopedic pants on one leg at a time. I'm a work in progress, and I probably think about suicide 20 or 30 times a day. When I'm feeling blue, well, grab your abacus and times that by 10, my friend. I frankly don't understand why suicide is such a taboo subject. It's this dirty little secret that has most likely affected each of our lives in some way, yet we simply are not allowed to talk about it until after it happens. I mean, we live in an age where toilet paper companies use animated bears to openly discuss dingleberries, yet the subject of taking one's own life is not to be discussed. Well, I want to discuss it. Perhaps if we acknowledge these moments where we want to say, fuck it, the subject wouldn't be so taboo. For those of us who have experienced deep, 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 deep depression, suicide is a nuanced, multifaceted option. Just as the Inuit peoples of our planet's more northern regions have many, many words for snow, testifying to the fact that snow is an important part of their culture and everyday life, so too it is true with those of us with depression. Depreskimos, if you will. Depreskimos have as many different types of suicidal thoughts as Inuits have types of snow. The following are types of and reasons for suicide as classified in the Bob Duca Statistical Manual for Mental Conditions, a.k.a. the BDSM-6. <sighs> this old chestnut, I want to die. I don't want to live. Now, it's important to distinguish between these two. Uh, if there was an alternate state between life and death, sometimes it seems like suicide is it, and, and you know I find solace in that thought. But it turns out that that's what sleeping 16 hours a day is for. So there you go. Next one, I'm tired of being alive, a.k.a. how much longer is this bullshit going to go on? I get it. You made your point, life. I peaked in grade school. I've overstayed my welcome. I freaking get it. Here's another one. The I can't stand another day of this, a.k.a. how can this possibly be my life? I did outward bound for Christ's sake. Or the I'm ashamed to go to work hungover. Mm, How about this one? The Smith Sing Me to Sleep was randomly played on the radio, and it just makes so much damn sense. Here's another flavor of suicide. The I want to be dead or attempt making myself dead just to see how long it would take for people to notice. I mean, I don't see anybody for days at a time anyway. Future suicide. After my mom dies, then I can do it. Mm. Oh, here's another one. Ending a headache. Or how about anger with self? Anger at family, anger at friends, because you didn't get invited to someone's party and you want them to feel bad, because you got invited to someone's party, but you just don't want to go, but you're the type of person who always cancels at the last minute and you don't want to be to face that friend again with some BS excuse about how you really wanted to go to their party, but you couldn't find your elbow or your neighbor shot his TV with a rusty pistol again. Or how about this one? You want to kill yourself because you forgot somebody's birthday party and you feel bad about yourself. Or uh, sometimes sometimes we think about suicide just to feel like you have some agency in a cruel and ultimately meaningless world. It's sort of like, what's that life? Fuck me? 
No. How about this time? Fuck you. Or there's a suicide because someone broke your heart and you can't imagine living without them. Or because you broke somebody's heart and you feel terrible. I mean, if you can't love such a wonderful person, what's wrong with you? Or because no one's ever broken your heart. And finally, masturbation mishap. In fact, I shouldn't even say finally because there's so many, many more. And, and you know, if you want to, if you want to go to the uh, earwolf.com and and leave a message for me uh, on the site there, uh, I want to hear your different uh, flavors of uh, nuances of suicide. Let's start this discussion, and 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 get this out in the air. You know, uh, let's make this not such a such a hard to discuss um, topic. Now, I also thought about some other things. Perhaps you don't identify with the term depressed Maybe you're from a different climate. So I've thought of some other things that we can call ourselves. And maybe this is something else you can, you can talk about on, uh, on the message boards too. You know, how do we, people who uh, uh, experience depression, sometimes think about suicide? And I want to be clear. I'm not advocating that, that anybody should kill themselves. I, I think it's, it's, it's something you should never do. Um, it's, it's a sign that, that things are, are going terribly wrong and you should, should reach out for help, but we cannot not acknowledge it, that these things come up. It's just, it's just not healthy. It's not right. So if you don't want to identify with the term depressed let's try some of these others. Sad Sakistanis, Blue Gondans, Never Lafricans, American Sad Moans. Life is Hargitinians, the peoples of lethal Barbados, total Belgiumers, people from why can't anything be Belize, Arubummers, Bosnia and Herzegovina, citizens of the People's Republic of Krina, Lebanon responsives, or perhaps here in the United States you're from Alabama, what's the point? Connecticut cut your wrists open to give the pain somewhere to go. Residents of Maryland scene. No Oklahomans. End of the Rhode Islanders. Tennessee, enough already. I get it. Things didn't work out for me. Again, I'd like to hear your thoughts and feelings about these things. Um, I say this as an effort to, to let, let's claim, uh, let's have some, some cultural pride in people who think about suicide and, and let's take it out of the shadows and into the light so that hopefully it can, it can wither and die in that light. Does that make sense?